Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Mars Games, and I am here with Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, as you can see, I already have a Platinum God file here, uh, so we're gonna, for my YouTube, I'm just gonna start a new file. Uh, I'm very rusty to this game, I haven't played it in a very long time, only played it a little bit when Afterbirth came out. Very, very fun, roguelike, uh, dungeon crawling, shoot 'em up type game. But we're just gonna start as our first run here. Nothing fancy, we're not gonna do greed, we're just gonna do a normal run with Isaac, and you know, we'll see where it goes. So if any of you don't know what Binding of Isaac is, it's kind of in the style of uh, the original Legend of Zelda on the NES. However, there was item rooms like this on every floor that give an item. And this item is a ball of tar, sticky feet, so as you can see, it's turned me into a completely tar-made monster. And, uh, you know, I leave a trail of tar behind me that'll slow down enemies behind me. And you just keep getting items like this that add on top of each other, and by the end, you're a completely unique monster. It's really cool, it's really neat, and also very challenging. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's try, let's try really hard to at least make it to Mom on the first run. Um, obviously I'd be happy if I, you know, beat her. But just making it there would be good. So right here, this is a tinted rock. You can see it's uh, sort of a slightly different shade. And uh, if you blow this up, you get something nice. So I got a key and a bomb. Pretty good. And a pill. Let's see what it is. Infested. So that gave me a little spider buddy here that'll hurt my enemies. So the first few, few floors are going to be pretty easy. Uh, just these little wiener enemies, really. Sounds like somebody just like crashed a car outside my f my apartment. Damn, that was loud. I don't know if you could, if that came up on uh, on the audio. <laughs> Another tinted rock, two uh, soul hearts. Very good. I'll explain more about the soul hearts uh, on the second floor, as soul hearts to me are pretty much the best way to guarantee yourself a devil room. The devil rooms offer some of the best items you could use. Some of the best items that I'm going to want all the time. Let's just see if there's a tin rock. Yeah, I don't have a bomb anyway, so I might as well keep going. Uh, how do I check the... Uh, I made a button to full screen the map, and now I don't remember what it is. Oh well. Let's just fight the boss. Larry Jr., very easy boss. Oh, I got the harder version of Larry Jr., actually. Should be slightly more challenging. Let's try not to take too many hits. Hopefully none. This slowdown item is actually helping quite a bit. As all this boss does is really move. Mm, just trying not to get hit here. Whoop. Oh god. Oh god. Thank you for turning around. Easy peasy. So, old bandage, HP up. Pretty uh, simplistic upgrade, but hey, I'm not complaining. HP's good. I can use it to uh, trade for things in the devil room. So here we go, second floor. Mm, during this floor, I guess I'll explain the devil room uh, as I understand them. This might not be completely correct, but this is what I've been led to believe. It's, um, on every floor, after the first floor, you have a chance, after the boss, of getting the devil room. And with the Devil Room, uh, what do we get here? My reflection. Oh, this is really bad. Ugh, I shouldn't pick that up. And uh, the Devil with the Devil Room, you can trade. Usually, you can trade uh, your own hearts for very powerful items. Uh, hopefully, we get one so I can show it off. Uh, the thing is, though, if you take any damage on the actual floor, uh, it lowers your chance of getting a Devil Room. So. Yeah, but by damage they mean red heart damage, which is why soul hearts are uh, such a good thing to have early on. So if I were to take, if I, how I just took damage there, if I if I were to have been uh, red heart damage, it would have lowered my chance to get a devil room on this floor by I think it's either five or ten percent in actual rooms. But if it happens against a boss, it lowers it by a dramatic amount, like ninety percent or something like that. So obviously we don't want that happening. 
So you just, you know, try to avoid as much damage as possible early on in the game, because you really want those devil rooms early on in the game. If you got something amazing, such as brimstone, which is basically just a huge mega laser, you know, you're good. I am so screwed right here. Oh, oh my god. Ah! Oh, I was doing so good. And I take damage right at the end of that. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty disappointed that I got the my reflection item. I wasn't thinking when I picked it up. It's not the worst possible thing I could have picked up, but, you know, it's not that great either. Keeping an eye out for tinted rocks, so I can get more, uh, soul hearts if I'm lucky. Not seeing any. Unfortunate. And there's the boss room. Uh, let's just go for it. Monstro, very easy boss. Shouldn't, should be any hard bosses really, um, as this is a new file and the game doesn't really get harder until you've beat mom a few times. Some bosses aren't even unlocked until uh, much much longer into the game. So, you know, Monstro I can deal with. You see, he looks very easy to avoid. Hopefully we get a good item from him. Hopefully we get a devil room. I haven't taken any red heart damage yet. Should get a devil room. Just keep barfing up your juices, man. Oh, yeah. Dang it, Monstro. You ugly, ugly piece of crap. Monstro's Tooth. And yes, we did get a devil room. And Cat of Nine Tails, which is, you know, it's okay. Shot speed up, damage up. Oof. This devil room is... Guppy's Collar. Which can lead me to get Guppy, which is very powerful. And I believe Spirit of the Night. The question is, am I bold enough? The answer is yes. Oh, it's over the pit. Uh, I shouldn't have taken it. Oh well. It's okay. It's still a flight item. Flight is very good. Now I can fly. Look at this ugly guy. Damn. And, uh, you know, we're actually kind of almost done the run. Getting to Mom is really fast. The uh, beginning of this game is uh, pretty slow because you have to unlock all the extra rooms. They're either run away from you, they spit flies at you, they explode when they die. They are terrible. And there's my item room though, and I do have four keys, so we'll be able to get it. Let's see what it is. Hopefully something good. My, uh, that's not great. Reusable eternity. You know, it's not terrible. Sh probably should have saved it. Um, I don't know if I'll get another use out of it this floor. Hopefully. Maybe I'll find a battery, that'd be nice. Even that, even still, I should have saved it. Hmm, hmm, where's this boss? There's the boss. Oh god, Jesus, oh my god, go see a doctor. Ooh, Empress, this is a uh, damage buff, I believe. Mega fatty, let's destroy him with my damage buff. Looks familiar. I'm making a joke about myself. <laughs> ah! This guy's quite rude, really. I just come over for a visit. He's barfing and farting all over me, and just straight up shitting on me too. Not cool, bro. Not cool. No wonder you don't get many guests. Oh god. No damage, pretty good. No devil room. I feel gypped. Pajamas though. Oh, I love Lazarus. 
four soul hearts for pajamas. Not bad, not bad. Uh, go back and take this card back. And continue on. We're just going really fast uh, for this run. Unlocked Eve. Cool. And the Eternity Heart. Nice. Things are going well. Things, Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Try not to take damage from these guys when they explode. Just take it very carefully as they explode in diagonal bullets. Oh gosh, that was close. Okay. Whoa. Easy. Dead end. Not not cool, man. Not cool. These little worm things are so annoying. Safety cap. I'm having trouble remembering what most of these uh items do as well, which is interesting. I'm not gonna look it up. It's more fun that way. If I pick up something completely terrible. I do know one item though. Like uh, the item I hate the most, the freaking moon item. Anyone who played this game will know. Ooh, psychic tears. That's really good. Uh so now my now my tears are homing, they'll go and straight to the enemy. Very good, very good. You can't get me with spikes, bitch. I got flight. I don't know why I did that. I, I really don't know why I did that. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. This is a booming party. Somebody call the police. I am the party crasher. Dang it. Dang it. I take a lot of stupid damage in this game, uh, as you can see. That's okay, though. As long as we make it to mob, it's no big deal. Ooh, I can uh, use my temperance card again. And the boss is Gertie! Oh boy, everybody loves Gertie. Uh. People who've played this game will know that Gertie sucks. He sucks so bad that they made like five variants of him. It's really, really good. He's just... I don't know why people hate him so much. He's just annoying, I guess. Much better with flight, I guess. Usually he's in a room with no holes, though. I don't know. It's just annoying. Look at him. He's literally just a pile of viscera. It's just gross. He hit me. I really hate him. A little chubby. No devil room. Gypped. Red Rage, Speed and Rage, nice. Okay, let's just continue on. We don't need to explore, exploring's for chumps. Man, we're almost at the last, this is the second last floor now. These guys are creepy. They just shoot their faces at you, I don't like it. This whole game is kind of creepy, really, when you stop and look at it. I never really thought of it before, because, you know, everything's drawn cutesy. But really, it, it's pretty messed up. Like, these dudes are, like, made of just blood and shit. <laughs> these guys are really annoying. They're very fast. At least the ones with eyeballs. Oh, there's holes here. I didn't see them. Yeah, can't get me now. What are you gonna do? That's what I thought. Die. Okay, these guys explode. Ow. Okay, what's this? Health down, that's a good pill. That's a good pill. Okay, whoa. Try not to die, whoa. Oh boy, duh, dang. 
<clears throat> There's the tick. I know what that does. I don't want it. I can't take it off. Let's just use tempest for now. Why not? Blow it up. I don't care. Oh boy, yummy intestines. I think. So that shit doesn't even hurt me. Oh yeah. Okay, this guy's. These annoying guys. These enemies you can only hit from behind. Scary. I'll find the boss soon. Have I found the item? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have. I have to do some exploring. Ooh, golden poo. I don't need to use my keys. There's the there's the boss. I found the item room though, so I will backtrack. See if we can't find it. Hum, 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 hum. This way. Yay, I was right! Mm. This guy's got my face on his back. <laughs> Not creepy at all, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So anyway, how's, our, how's everyone doing out there on the internet? Having a good time, I hope. Just sitting back and relaxing, watching some Bind of Isaac. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Hope you continue to have good times, man. Uh, this is pretty useless. Just gives me temporary psychic shots, but I have uh, always have psychic shots. So you know what? I don't want it. Take this to the uh, Eternity Heart, though. Yeah, let's go fight the boss. Crab! Oh, it's Brownie! He's a new boss from the Afterbirth DLC. He's, a uh, He's creative. Yeah, you can... I can sort of see where he got the inspiration for it. Oh, yeah. Hey, though, this guy's kind of tough. He shoots corn everywhere. Uh... This is probably not the kind of game you want to show your parents. Oh, whoa. Why is white stuff coming out of him? Oh. Alright. Speed up belt. Not bad. What do you got for me, Satan? Mm. I'm pretty sure that's the contract from below. Which is... Eh, meh. Guppy thing though. Like if I pick up the other guppy item, maybe. But I didn't. Because if you get three guppy items, you become guppy, and guppy is overpowered as hell. So I'm just gonna take nothing from Satan this time. And uh, this is the floor with mom. So hope. So uh, hopefully we at least make it to mom. I'm thinking we'll beat her. This build isn't that bad. Oh god. But don't speak too soon because this is when the little dingle dongles get you, and then you die and. You look like a, a dummy. Oh, push him in the spikes. Not bad. Not a bad idea. Oh, wow. Wow, why don't you just die to the easiest enemy in the game? <laughs> I'm gonna mess it all up right here. Nice. Two uh, spirit hearts. And, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks for killing those enemies for me. Oh, how nice of you. This temperance again, meh, meh. Oh, whoa, creepy. Okay, I don't want to go in the big room just in case I don't have to. Just 
kind of want to make it to mom. Get, get my item. Make it to mom. Call it a day. Stop getting hit by stupid things. That's on the to-do list. Oh, it's, uh... Why am I blanking on his name now? Chubb? There you go, Chubb. Take my bombs. Oh, I don't need my bombs, Chubb. You can have them. I know how much you like them. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're upset. Now you're dead. Ooh. Hey, the item room! Uh, do I have to? There, oh, that was easy. What is this? Kidney bean. Oh. I think I will keep my prayer card. Mmm, now I have to pick which big room. This one's closer. Might as well go here. Hopefully it's the right way. Hit him from the side. Uh, as you can tell, poo is a, a recurring theme in this game. Edmund McMillan seems to really have a poo fetish. Not that I'm judging. To each their own. Oh. Take easy hits, why don't you? Okay, okay. Uh, we're nearly done. Just gonna, there's mom, okay. Nope. Let's do this. So this is the mom fight. Hopefully we don't mess it up. I made it this far. Oh boy. Whoa. This also hasn't been the greatest run in terms of items, so it is it is slightly challenging fighting mom right now. Especially when I keep getting hit by all this, the easy attacks like that. Just concentrate. Just concentrate. Whoa! Ah, crap. It's gonna be a close one. Shut up and concentrate, you can do this. Telegraph. No! <sighs> I tried so hard and got so far, and at the end, it doesn't even matter. Well, that's it for the first episode of Body of Isaac Rebirth. I will try to beat her next time. Uh, yeah, only slightly embarrassing. See you next time.